In the last few weeks, you all must have heard and read about how US President Donald Trump said that he was sure that America was going to have Greenland. But away from the politics of it, Greenland has been in the news again this week for a very different and honestly alarming reason. Scientists have found that the ice sheets in Greenland are cracking open more rapidly, possibly due to climate change. Hi, my name is Soumya Pele and this is Pure Science. A new study led by scientists from Durham University in the UK has warned the world about how large crevices are forming on Greenland's ice sheet, the world's second largest body of ice. The largest, as you would know, is the Antarctic ice sheet. Using 3D surface maps, researchers found that the crevices had significantly increased in size and depth at the fast-flowing edges of the ice sheet between 2016 and 2021. Fast-flowing ice sheets, which are also known as ice streams or outlet glaciers, are where ice moves rapidly towards the ocean, driven by factors like meltwater lubrication and steeper slopes, contributing to ice loss and sea level rise. Just like rivers pour into the seas, the glaciers on the edge of the ice sheet feed a stream of ice into the ocean. According to NASA, while most of these glaciers move slowly, some defy the glacial pace and speed to the ocean at rates greater than 100 meters per year. In this study, scientists warned that increases in crevices are happening more quickly than previously detected. Researchers said that crevices are also getting bigger and deeper where ice is flowing more quickly due to climate change and this could further speed up the mechanisms behind the loss of ice from Greenland. To come to this conclusion, researchers used more than 8,000 3D surface maps created from high-resolution satellite imagery to identify cracks in the surface of the ice sheet and show how crevices had evolved across Greenland between 2016 and 2021. They found that at the edges of the ice sheets where large glaciers meet the sea, accelerations in the glacier flow speed were associated with significant increase in the volume of crevices. This was up to 25% in some sectors. Now, the actual picture could be much worse because during the course of the study, the fastest flowing glacier in Greenland, Sermak Kualek, underwent a temporary slowdown in movement. This slowdown led to balancing the increased loss in other parts. So the total change in crevices across the entire ice sheet during the study period was around 4.3%. However, Sermak Kualek's flow speed has since begun increasing again, suggesting that the period of balance between crevice growth and the closure on the ice sheet is now over. Greenland has been the source of nearly 14 mm sea level rise since 1992. This has mainly been due to warmer temperatures in the region which has increased melting from the ice surface and increased the flow of ice into the ocean. What has caused a double whammy is that apart from the rising atmospheric temperature, the ocean temperatures have also been rising. And both of these are impacts of climate change in some way. Greenland contains enough ice to add 7 meters, which is around 23 feet of sea level rise to the world's ocean if the entire ice sheet were to melt. This research has shown that Greenland could contribute up to 30 centimeters to rising sea level by the year 2100. There have been other studies recently that have also highlighted a similar apocalyptic fate. A study by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California reported that the Greenland ice sheet has shed about one-fifth more ice mass in the past four decades than previously estimated. 
the study noted that the majority of glaciers on the landmass retreated significantly and icebergs are falling into the ocean at an accelerating rate. This additional ice loss has had only an indirect impact on ocean levels, but it could hold implications for ocean circulation in the future. But what makes Durham University study significant is that this is the first time that we have got a sense of a noteworthy increase in the size and depth of the Greenland ice sheet crevices at fast flowing glaciers on time scales of five years or less. So the findings will become a guiding document for scientists to potentially build the effects of the ice damage and crevicing into predictions of future behavior of the Greenland ice sheet. Thanks for watching the Print Pure Science. You were with Somya Pillai.